In this video, I will demonstrate how to use the revolved meshing feature of Gmesh inside Prepomex. To load the geometry, go to File Import and go to Folder Prepomex Subfolder Models and select the uh, file Gmesh Revolve. Open the file by clicking OK. You can see that here we have two very similar or almost identical geometries. Uh, the only difference is that one of the base surfaces of those, the uh, right hand part is split into patches which are four sided. And that means that we will be able to create here a transfinite and recombined mesh with uh, quadrilaterals at the base and then a hexahedral mesh after the revolution. So how to set up the rev revolute mesh commands? First, we'll define some size limits for the finite elements. Go to Mesh Setup and double click. Select Meshing Parameters, select both parts and define the max element size as 2 and the min element size as 1. The rest of the settings remains default. Confirm by OK. Now we'll try to mesh the first green part as first. Go to Mesh Setup, double click, select the correct Mesh Setup item called Revolved Mesh. If you click any of the surfaces now, you'll see that they are selected, but no arrow is shown, except when you click the base surface that was used for the revolution of the geometry. And you can see that you can, uh, uh, that Prepomax automatically determines the axis of revolution and the revolution angle. Now the user must set up the meshing um, uh, commands for this base surface and later the mesh is just revolved. So for this surface let's use uh, default settings and change the recombine algorithm to blossom and the quality uh, to 0, 07. Let's uh, preview the created mesh and we see that this mesh is mostly created out of uh, mix of tetrahedral and uh, sorry triangular and quad elements. After we are satisfied with this mesh we can confirm it by OK and then create the mesh by right clicking the component and using the command create mesh. The created mesh looks um, very structured from all the other surfaces except from the base surface where is uh, where the mesh is originating from and we can see that some of those elements are actually uh, triangular prisms or wedges and some of them are hexahedrons if we want to have only hexahedral mesh we need to split the base surface into surfaces or patches which are four-sided and that was already done for the part on the right so for this part we will be able to create a hexahedral only mesh go to the mesh setup items double click select the revolve mesh command again and now if we select only one surface of this uh, one patch this base surface you will see that no arrow is shown, so we need to select all of them at the same time. We can do that by the selection by the angle, so the surface angle uh, selection. Now if we click one of the surfaces, one of the patches, we'll see that the uh, re revolution direction is automatically uh, detected. If we turn on the transfinite mesh and the recombination algorithm blossom and preview the resulting uh, surface mesh on the base surface you'll see a very nice structured mesh of quadrilateral elements. Since we are satisfied with this mesh we can confirm this setting 
we can right click the component and use the create mesh command to create the volumetric mesh. The resulting mesh is composed only of hexahedral elements and represents a structured mesh for this part. And this concludes the demonstration of how to create a revolve mesh using PrepoMax.